This is my Ocean Kayak Trident 15, uh, but it's been pimped up with the addition of a new side imaging sonar from Hummingbird. Uh, this unit allows me to scan uh, 200 feet either side of the kayak and build up a 3D picture of the seabed as I'm paddling along. Uh, it has two card slots, one for the navigation data so I can view the nautical charts and one to record all of the footage and I can then view it at home using some really clever software which I'm going to show you next. Okay so this is a, a free piece of software called Hum Viewer uh, and it lets you view your side imaging plots uh, and it's really quite good. Um, you can see here um, where the cursor is basically down the middle that's you so in my case that's the kayak paddling along uh, this area to the left and to the right is the sea beneath you and then you can see at the bottom here this is the seabed so this is the seabed going moving out towards the left of you and this is the seabed moving out towards the right of you so as you as you're moving forward the whole display will scroll and you should be able to see the features on the right and on the left of you um, and I think I'm showing about 20 meters of uh, of seabed either side so let's have a look as we move forward let's see what we see at the moment it's fairly featureless um, you can see on the left hand side the traditional two-dimensional sonar plot so this is what what most guys would see on their fish finder is this plot here um, but let's move forward and and you'll see the difference with side imaging so fairly featureless it's mostly sand along this plot sand and mud and then on the right hand side you can start to see some features now this is a large rock um, and as we move forwards you can even see the ripples on the sand on the seabed um, it's quite amazing and here we go you can see some more rocks here now what we can do um, is we've also got a load of utilities here uh, and as you move the cursor around if you look at the bottom of the screen you can see uh, you get a whole load of statistics about how far away the cursor is from the kayak how deep the water is um, but we can also do a load of other things as well which are really quite cool we can measure distance so what we can do is for instance we can have a look at this rock and we can see how tall it is so here we can see that it's 1.9 meters so it's around about six feet tall from the bottom of the uh, the seabed um, you can do all sorts of things for instance if we'd spotted some fish on here we could create a waypoint we could click on the screen and we could say yeah I'll put a waypoint there and what you can do is you can load those waypoints back into the hummingbird unit and then go back to them another day if you spot some fish so all in all it's uh, it's quite a powerful tool but of course it only lets us see a single plot at a time or a single recording if you like um, and that's fine a lot of the time um, but sometimes we'd like the ability to be able to take all of these plots if you're fishing somewhere quite often what would be really neat is to be able to take all the plots that you've amassed and you've recorded onto your SD card over a long period of time um, and and merge them all together and show a picture where they're all joined up um, now there is another piece of software that's that, that I'm using called Sony Sonar TRX and that allows you to do just that so we'll have a look at that in just a second okay so this is Sonar TRX it's an application which takes the raw data the side imaging data from your fish finder and uh, generates images in in a form that can be viewed in Google Earth uh, so I've loaded in some of the footage um, from one of my kayaking trips where I recorded some side in, in Im imaging data uh, and now I'm going to produce the images I'm just going to accept the default options you can do some really really clever stuff um, but let's just let's just use the default options and I'll show you 
how simple it is to create some data that, that you can view in Google Earth. Now you can create really high resolution images if you like. Um, it's always a trade-off between speed and quality so uh, for the purposes of this demonstration I'll just stick to some simple stuff for now. Okay so it's produced a file and we can now view that in Google Earth and here we go you can see the tiles being drawn and it's going through and updating them and as you can see even with the default options the uh, the quality is still pretty good and if we zoom in you can see how detailed that information is and it's pretty good but the real uh, power of this tool is that uh, you can do this with multiple plots so if you fish a particular area quite often um, over say a couple of years you can put all the footage together and uh, merge it all together and, and see what it looks like and uh, that's really useful as, as we'll see in a minute okay so now we're in Google Earth again um, showing you uh, part of the Bristol Channel um, and you can see that uh, there's a lot of reefs here um, lots of rock covered in weed and surrounded by mud and lots of it. Now what I'm going to show you is how you can build a picture up over time of your side imaging footage and uh, here we go. If I um, fade in the footage that I've created using uh, Sonar TRX and here you go you can see the multiple tracks superimposed on top of each other and this is really powerful stuff and you can see here I've got three or four tracks and between them you can build up a real picture of what's happening underneath the water now because of the tidal range in the Bristol Channel um, we've got an ideal opportunity here to check that the footage that we're seeing actually um, correlates to the to the real reefs themselves now you can see here if you follow the cursor you can see a gully and if you keep following the cursor now you can see the actual uh, side imaging footage showing the same gully going across multiple tracks so you can see this is this is really clever stuff um, and it, it you know it's it's really useful because you can find fish fish holding areas um, the fish tend to um, tend to stay in between the reefs and they tend to hide from the tide in the in the holes in between the reefs so this is really useful um, and it's a really powerful tool